But playing Auntie Spencer, I don't know what the fuck to do with my life, dude. What, what, I'm yeah, lost I'm, as fuck. And when I go, I just have to take a Yeah, you're good, bro. It's fine. Come on. Ooh. What's up, guys? First off, what a podcast. What a podcast. That, it was pretty deep. Mainly, this video is going to be about my mental health and the steps that I'm taking to help better myself and hopefully for those who are also lost like me or just in a dark place and need that help or need that extra just boost hopefully you can gain something out of this hopefully it will help you too so in the months of me not posting on YouTube I was obviously in a very very dark place was isolating myself from all my friends uh, family friends and even my roommates and during this isolation, I was also smoking weed at the time and just playing video games and not really doing anything with my life. Not saying that video games is bad, nor smoking, because people gain benefits out of both of those. It's just how you utilize those things and how you space them out um, in your everyday life. What I was doing was I was using the marijuana in the uh, video games to numb all my pains and feelings and kind of get me distracted away from those things, which is not good at all. It's not healthy. I didn't think it was healthy, I just thought it was okay. I kept digging myself deeper, deeper in this hole, and I didn't know really how to climb out of it. And yeah, it just kept eating me up every day. I would wake up depressed, and as soon as I would have that feeling, I would smoke weed. And that would kind of help me get through the day, which wasn't helping at all. It was actually making everything worse. Same with the video games. I would smoke weed, play video games, isolate myself from everyone and everything. And the problems that I was facing, instead of addressing them or trying to fight back at them, I would also sit up here and just cry for no reason. Um, I just felt lost. And I felt like there was just no one that could help me. I feel like no one was understanding what I was going through because being a uh, little person in an average person world, no one would get it, you know? No one would understand. But after that podcast, I realized that I need to be thankful for the people that I have around me that are willing to help me. And instead of just running away from them, just talk to them, you know? Um, they might not understand 100% what the problem is, but they can give you advice on what you need to do to get yourself out of this slump. Also had a lot of anger inside. Um, well, have some anger inside now, but I'm helping my uh, get past that. But yes, yeah, just angry at the world, angry at people who didn't understand what where I'm coming from. And it was also ruining the relationships that I have with people who I love and are very close to me. I also lost a relationship to a very close friend of mine because of my anger and my attitude that I had in certain situations. I always thought that that person was in the wrong, um, didn't quite understand what they were coming from or what they were trying to say to me, and I wasn't taking their advice 100% or taking what they were telling me. Um, I just thought they were, they were just attacking me. But in actuality, they were like trying to help me, even though it seemed like it wasn't in the best way. So my best friend and roommate, Logan, we were like, we were boys. I mean, we are boys. We still are boys. But we were like, we were like this. Now, it feels very distant. We f I feel very distant from him. But, but I was thinking, um, like he didn't really like me or he didn't really love me or like me that I used to do. But in actuality, it was just because I was isolating myself, you know? I wasn't getting involved. I wasn't saying, hey, let's do this. Hey, let's go do that. I was just um, up in my room, isolating myself. And I would also go out and uh, drink with some friends. And anyone who would say something to me, any bystander would say something to me, I would lash out at them, get very angry. So even when I was going out, I was getting angry and pissed off. I stopped going out as often. I just sat in my room by myself, and I thought that was just the only hope I had, which it's, it's not. I did feel lost, still feel lost, um, about 60% of the way there, but um, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't know if I'm here because of these videos, you know, making vlogs, 
just really recording my personal life. I didn't feel like that was comfortable. And I was letting that get to me too. After this podcast came out and came open about my mental health, a lot of you fans were messaging me on Instagram, tweeting at me, or messaging me on Facebook, thanking me for coming on the podcast, uh, talking about my uh, problems and mental health. And that meant so much to me because I didn't feel alone and that that podcast was hoping you guys too and it meant so much to me even the little people thanking me I mean it, it was it was even like our child and little people thanking me you know we all come together as one and it really shows that who gives a f what we look like everybody is either going through the same thing or has gone through the same thing and it gave me an idea of why I'm here or the reason I'm here is to help inspire each and every one of you. That's what it's mainly about, is just being that, uh, I guess, not really role model, but I don't know what the word I'm looking for, sorry. Even though I have this disability and I'm living in this world that's not made for me, it's how you make it and how you fight it is how you're gonna live life. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be harder than some people, but the fact that we can overcome these challenges together is more than what anyone can ask for. Like people who are fortunate and don't have these problems and they don't really understand, their life will be easier, but they also don't get that satisfaction from people who are struggling with mental health who overcome these challenges. And that's, I think, is one of the most important things you have to live on. I lost sight of that. I lost sight of uh, overcoming these challenges and so I would isolate myself in the room and not want to face these challenges when actuality it feels, feels good, you know, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be harder but it feels good. You is the only important thing in this life and you need to love yourself at the end of the day and if you don't love yourself, and I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be it's gonna be near impossible to get out of that smog, that dark zone. So ever since that podcast the steps I've been taking to help better myself is exercising. You know, exercising is important. Um, whether it's going out for a walk, whether it's doing some jumping jacks here and there, push-ups, anything that can get your body going to help release all that stress that you have building up. And I've been waking up every day forcing myself to work out and forcing myself just to have a positive attitude whether whether or not it doesn't feel right it is right and i used to think like waking up being positive all day you know that was cheesy that was that was just stupid you know i'm, I'm living in a world that has all these things you know I, I feel like i i had to be negative you know that's not healthy it's not good and now that i've been waking up in a positive mood going out getting things done working out i feel fantastic i feel great i it, it's only been a week it's only been a week, but it's a good start, you know? I'm not there 100%, I'm not there 100%, but I know that I'm trying to get better and I know that I'm trying to help better myself, you know? And that's the greatest feeling of them all. I'm also reading self-help books that, uh, they do really help, you know? I, I hate reading, um, still do, I'm not gonna lie. I do not like reading, but reading is good for you. Uh, it's another way to exercise. Honestly, it's another way to exercise and like exercise in your brain. This book called The Four Agreements. I'm reading this book now. And it's really helped me a lot in um, opening my mind and brain to, just like I said, loving yourself and not worrying about people who you don't even know saying shit. Like, 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 like I said before, I was letting these people who were, I guess, bullying me, um, I was letting them get to me. Like I said, let them ruin my night. But it's like, at the end of the day, what did they opinion matter you know people who go out of their way to say anything that someone that's in a negative way and you don't know who that person is at all they're, they're the real pieces of shit on this planet maybe they're also fighting something that's they can't cope with that they don't know how to deal with you know maybe they have issues too but it's how you react to these issues and how you react to these problems that's gonna help better you next time someone says something to me in public or says something to me in a negative way I, i'll just respond and like why do you have to say that 
You know, what, what good do you get out of that? Try to connect with that person. And if they don't listen or they still continue just to be an asshole, then at least you try. And if they keep going to more extreme, maybe that's when you say something. If you give someone multiple chances to correct themselves in a negative way and then just not getting it, maybe you just have to kick it up a notch. So we got exercise and waking up with positivity. Schedule. Routine. Getting yourself in a routine. That is... It's quite possibly the hardest thing you can do for someone who is in a dark place. It's really challenging because, you, like I said, you, just, you still feel lost. But I'm taking it day by day with a routine. So my first is waking up with a positive attitude, with a positive mind. That's my first step before anything when I wake up is make sure I'm in a positive mind. And if you're not, then meditate. Meditate and try to find that positivity in in your head because everyone has it you know obviously everyone has positivity so that's the first step second step exercise you know getting out getting active running just getting your mind off thing and letting that stress out that you have been building up third step make a to-do list make a to-do list that the things that you haven't really obviously got you haven't been getting, getting done what i'm doing now is i'm still playing video games but i'm only doing it when i get all what I needed to be done that day done. And so I'm using it more as a reward system rather than a just a uh, doing it for no reason. And if you're looking for a reward from someone else when struggling to do these things, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably not gonna help you. If you do these things and reward yourself, it feels 20 times better, trust me. Like I said, it's all about you at the end of the day and about loving yourself. Yeah, I might seem like I'm repeating myself. I might seem kind of confusing. Um, kind of new at this, but I'm just trying to help you guys out. So hopefully, hopefully so far I'm doing a good job. Positivity, exercise, schedule, reward system. I promise you, if you just start off with those four things, you will already be on the path to a better and healthier life. And also, it's okay to cry. People need to cry sometimes, you know? Uh, I always thought just... So many emotions was weak. Crying was weak, you know? But it's not. It's just that stress that's building up that's needed to be released. It's okay to cry. It feels good to cry. Also, please do not be scared to talk to someone. Please do not. You know, I was scared to talk to my parents about it. I was scared to talk to Logan about it. I was scared to talk to anyone that was really, really close to me. It was hard to just talk about these things. And I was scared to talk about these things because what if they look at me different? What if they don't accept me who I was before? But those are just stupid thoughts that I have and that's and that's where the negativity came in also. Still right now, I'm, uh, I have negative thoughts but I'm, but I'm catching these negative thoughts. They get you nowhere. Being negative obviously gets you nowhere. And I know society portrays this perfect life you see on TV or on, on TV shows and movies, that's not what life is. No one has that life. No one has a perfect life. There's no such thing as a perfect life. Everybody has is struggling with something. It's the steps you take to become more positive or hope better yourself through these challenges. It's hard to take these steps, but like I said, just if you force yourself to do this, if you force yourself to wake up in a positive attitude, wake up, gonna conquer the world, get shit done, and reward yourself at the end of the day, you just feel so much better. Oh, I just feel great, man. I just feel great now, you know, I'm just, I'm happy now, I'm happier now, and uh, I just feel so much, so much better, and I, and I know that I'm taking these steps, and I'm doing this routine, I'm doing this schedule that's that's out better than myself. I'm, I might only be 50, 60% of the way there, but I know I'm gonna get to that 100%, and it's not gonna come tomorrow. It's not gonna come in a week. It's not gonna come in a month. It, it, it's gonna take time, but I know that when that time comes, everything's just gonna fall into place, and it's gonna feel amazing. So let's go over it one more time what we're gonna do to get out of this slump. We're gonna wake up with positivity every day, whether you don't like it or not. You're gonna force yourself to be positive. We're gonna exercise. Exercising is huge. Like I said, whether it's push-ups, jumping jack, uh, going on a walk, something that helps release all that stress that you have building up. Number three, making a schedule or routine, which is probably the hardest step. But if you just sit down and focus on this routine or schedule, I promise you it's gonna be hard at first it's got it's not gonna feel 
normal. It's not gonna feel right, but I promise you it is. That positivity is also gonna come with it, and it's just gonna, it's gonna feel great. You know, it's gonna fan, feel fantastic. So step number four, I guess, reading. If you don't like reading, maybe it's audiobooks. Feeding your brain, one of the best things you could do for yourself and teaching yourself just how to become a better person, how to become a healthier person. I have given up um, marijuana in my life right now. Some people, it, it might help, like obviously medically, uh, anxiety, but if you're using it to numb out, to cope with things, you're not using it in the right way. Uh, same with alcohol, not really same with alcohol, but people use it to abuse themselves and distract the feelings that they are facing or the challenges they are facing. Again, that's not healthy. And I just hope this video gives you that spark that you need or that you need it to wake up every day, get out of bed in a positive mood and just get things done and get, get your life going, you know? Even when you're doing this routine, you might, you might feel lost. You still might feel lost, you know? I, st I still kind of feel lost. But the routine is helping me find what I want to do in life. So I know that I want to make these videos or become an actor or become, I guess, a public figure for people who are struggling. And I want to be your guys' inspiration. I want to be your guys' spark that's going to help better yourself and just become healthier and positive, you know? Um, I hope none of this was confusing or... Uh, really repetitive but I just want you guys just to know that you're not alone and the people around you who love you please do not take them for granted they're there to help you know whether it's your parents your closest friends they want to help you it might not feel like they do but they do you know they love you they don't want to see you down they don't like seeing you sad they want to see you happy they want to see you succeeding they want to see you just getting things done and you keep isolating yourself from the people around you that love you they're gonna act like that you don't love them and that's gonna just ruin the relationship but in actuality you just, just talk to them talk to someone i'm taking these steps become a better person a healthier person i love each and every one of you can't thank you enough for the feedback that I received from that podcast, it really helped me. And all the thanks that I was getting from the average height people and the little people, I can't thank you guys enough. I hope this video really helps you guys. I love each and every one of you. Thank you all. And just know, you're not alone. Thank you. Toodles. Is <laughs> If you know someone in your group, a friend of yours, a family member, is struggling and you and and even if the thought in your mind is oh my god they have everything they could ever want in life their life should be so good why do they just play video games why do they sleep all day why do they not go out understand that mental health and understand that those issues in life are not always so easy to put a finger on people are going through things and it might not be as easy for Logan or for Spencer who are headstrong very very well thought out individuals to understand, but people like me and people that deal with certain levels of mental health problems understand what it's like to feel like you're under a blanket of grim energy or negativity or depression or anxiety. And I also, on the flip side, know what a couple positive or kind words from someone you love can do for your fucking day. And so if there is someone that you know that's suffering or is doing anything, just playing too much video games or sleeping too much, adjust the way you're talking to them. Being good to someone is giving something. That's giving something of yourself. That means 1% of your career might go to 1% of helping your best friend be better. Is that worth it to you? Not you, but is it worth it to anyone watching or listening? You may not get a thousand views over what you would have got, but your friend may wanna live his life better. Is that worth it?